Yo, what is up, guys? I'm just here chilling, you know what I'm saying? I'm checking out this video, Robohead. It's pretty funny. I thought I'd um, look over it, um, laugh about it. Uh, I think it's pretty entertaining. Um, let's see what's being said. This is about the new Star Wars. Uh, new Star Wars. Star Wars Acolyte. That's new Acolytes. I saw the preview. I didn't like it. And I was like, man, this thing is stupid. But let's see what the other um, YouTubers have to say about this. I'm Mary Allen, an elder Jedi master. I'm emotional just knowing that you all are a part of this galaxy. Uh, it's so oh cool. my god! It's been incredibly emotional and I have cried many times today. Shut up. <laughs> Star Wars saved my life. Really? Oh, Ow. Thank you. Well, every day we are closer to the premiere of The Acolyte, which means we are closer to watching Disney's Lucasfilm destroy a bit more of George Lucas's legacy. To prepare us for what I'm sure will be an amazing series, Lucasfilm have just released the official full Acolyte trailer, and it's the real official trailer, not one of those fake trailers by Darth Trailer that fills up my search list every time I'm looking for a bloody trailer. That guy's killing it on the thumbnail game. Anyway, the new trailer dropped and it revealed to us absolutely nothing we hadn't already seen in the first trailer. Except for our new villain, Kylo Venom. Seriously, what the hell is going on here? I thought Harvey Weinstein's favourite personal assistant yeah. that absolutely knew nothing about Harvey's weirdo activities was going to bring us something new. And this is it? The Knights of Ren cross cosplaying cousin. Man must be getting hard to get a job if you're a white dude that's dreamed of being in Star Wars your whole life. Change your dreams, fella. Because unless you're seven foot tall and can fit into a Chewbacca suit, you ain't getting near a Star Wars set anytime soon. But fear not, because some people call that dodging a bullet. We need a diversity hire. I vote Asian check. But we can't dodge the bullet. We must take it between the eyes and watch this trailer. We find out, again, that a Jedi was murdered. A Jedi was murdered. Jedi, Jedi are being murdered. hunted. Jedi getting hunted down. Again. What an original idea. That's From the studio that brought us Ahsoka. <laughs> You really want to remind people of that? I see you left out the Obi-Wan show and the Book of Boba Fett. Maybe you should have left out a second too. But anyway, then we're back to bashing the Jedi. The Jedi justified a galactic dominance in the name of peace. But that peace is a lie. I've said it before and I'll say it again, Disney and the modern Luke's film just hate the Jedi. Everything that Disney has made has painted the Jedi as weak, moronic losers who just let everyone down. And every time Disney do this, they just pretend it's a new idea. Like the new idea of having women or minorities in Star Wars. That's always the first time as well. My character, you know, she's a she's a powerful leader, which I, well, I was very excited to have. Because I feel like Star Wars is, is very, like, patriarchal. May the Force be with us. So again, the Jedi are going to be shown as failures. The idea that kicked off this nearly 50-year journey that the Jedi kept the peace for a thousand generations is going to be shown as a lie. For over a thousand generations, the Jedi Knights were the guardians of peace and justice in the old Republic. But that peace is a lie. She's Obi-Wan, you naive lying bastard. She was my student. I trained her. That may be the one to bring her in. But someone please tell Kathleen Kennedy, her band of Lucasfilm creators, and any ring in that she hires, that we don't have to have the fallen Jedi story every time they make anything to do with Jedi or Sith. We had six films about Anakin's fall and redemption. Please give us something new. Disney's already made three films dealing with the fallen Jedi and training Kylo Ren and his redemption. The Obi-Wan show was about the fall of Padawan Reva and her redemption. Have I become him? Even Ahsoka is a failed Padawan that got some truly bizarre redemption scenes with her failed master. I choose to live. It's a joke. A billion dollar company and they've only got one idea when it comes to Jedi stories. What exactly was Leslie Headland's bitch that got Kathleen Kennedy excited? That she can do the same story all over again but this time with more representation? Well, I'm guessing yes, that's exactly what got her the job. That and her payoff for staying quiet about Harvey Weinstein. Because I came in and I pitched my own idea. I think it's difficult to do a show that is critical in any way of the Jedi. 
find someone else. <laughs> <laughs> the same vibe from the first trailer. That can't be exciting. They've got a whole completed series that's about to be aired, and every supposed exciting or interesting scene that should hook us into watching this show has already been shown in the first teaser trailer. And now we're just seeing it again from a different angle. Is that all they have? Well, I'm guessing yes. Every Disney Plus star will show, with maybe the exception of The Mandalorian when that started, it seemed like a thin draft rushed into production and stretched beyond its life. The filler and slow pace of every show has been draining on the soul. This speaks with Ahsoka, where time stood still and it took eight episodes to tell us the much-hyped Grand Admiral Thrawn was dimmer than Forrest Gump. Where are in such as you belong? Hang on, in the first trailer she had a mask on. So is this two different people? The supposed twins I've heard about? Two different people in the exact same fight. Oh boy, I think we're in for a world of creativity with this show, my friends. I sense this is only a small part of a larger plan. Oh yes, the larger plan, that's all Star Wars is these days. A grand plan that never eventuates. We never get to an actual story to enjoy it. It's always a build up to some future event, something we've already seen, usually the Death Star, or things that happened in the past. We only get to see in flashbacks or hear about in mystical stories. Always seem to be too early or too late for the interesting bit in these shows. It's hard to believe that this all was once filled with our kind. It wasn't that long ago. Well, this time, it's the prequels we let the Jedi. In Squid Game, he was great as the scared, innocent contestant, needing others to survive the competition. But his transformation in the end, well, that really fell flat. His transformation into an angry Karen. But let's hope for the first time ever I'm wrong. And he is great in this role. If you want to pull the thread and change everything, pull it. If you want to pull the thread and change everything, then pull it. That's some really feminine writing. It sounds like it should come from an evil stepmother or a wicked witch type of character. You know, in a product that's aimed at girls. If you want to pull the thread and change everything, then pull it, my dear. Well, of course it does. You don't hire a lesbian feminist activist to write a fantasy sci-fi for boys, do you? Star Wars saved my life. Lucifer really wanted to attract more girls to the Star Wars universe. Well, he took that too far, and have now turned Star Wars into a girl brand, which would be great if girls on mass cared about Star Wars. But they don't. So, you outplayed yourself, Kathleen Kennedy. Um, I am a Jedi Knight, I can tell you that. Sure. I got some really cool hair, I can tell you that. Sure. So one of the things... She's a powerful leader. Yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, in a very woman-centred world. The, the movie, movie, of course, based on the famous plastic doll and starring Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, took just 17 days from release to pass the $1 billion mark at the global box office. Maybe laughing at the middle-aged dudes who would have introduced Star Wars to their kids wasn't the best idea after all. And if you want to tell me in the comments that you're a guy and you like the new Star Wars, just go put on your favourite Taylor Swift album, give your favourite Funko Pop a squeeze, and question why Dad didn't kick the footy with you more often. <laughs> you again copy the lighting of a red lightsaber in complete darkness. Disney's gone past watering down the original movies and is now diluting their own content. And buy some bloody lights and learn how to light a bloody scene. With all the money the Disney Pyramid Scheme throws at these shows, why does every series look worse than the one before? Every one show looked terrible, then Ahsoka took it a notch down, and now this underlit garbage. I just finished watching Fallout. Lovely open vistas, well-lit sets, lights shown in daylight, everything having a weight to it and looking somewhat real. Then, then we have this garbage that all looks highly artificial and hidden by darkness. It's the Obi one show all over again. I can't stand it. What are you? Odd question. I would have gone for who, because I just assumed that our Jedi here would comprehend what a living humanoid was. But after seeing one humanoid villain turn into a puff of smoke in the Ahsoka Scooby-Doo episode, what are you might be the better line. What are you? So the big question regarding the whole show is how are they going to manage the fact that the prequels established that the Sith haven't been seen for a millennium? Was the Sith Lord impossible? The Sith have been extinct for a millennium. Which was very important to the story. Well, don't worry, the Disney shills have already worked that one out. The easiest answer is that all of the Jedi are killed. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Every Jedi would have to be killed in their first encounter with the Sith. But I think the more likely answer is that over the course of this series, the Jedi will face this character and defeat them. But hey, we killed the Sith again, so problem solved. There's no need to raise the alarm and tell the entire Republic about this incident. The keepers of the place don't want to bother anyone about a galaxy-wide threat that could lead to the death of Billions. Do we even need to tell the rest of the Jedi Order? 
Yes, they, they would be compelled to tell the rest of the Jedi, Jedi Order. Protecting the galaxy against the Sith is sort of the main part of their job. It's completely possible for them to encounter a Sith, pretend it never happened, and refuse to believe it will ever happen again. So then a century later, Kiyadi Mundi does truly believe that the Sith haven't been seen in the past thousand years. And this is what it takes to be a full-time Disney shill. You can never say any idea from Disney's bad, even if it breaks the original stories of the thing you supposedly love. But the shills don't love the original films. It's the Star Wars cult they love. And Disney are the cult leaders. Anything the leader says is good. Grown man, Funko Pops. I'm sure his wife sees him as a man. Jesus Christ! I play Mary Allen. I'm an elder Jedi sister. I'm emotional just knowing that you all are a part of this galaxy. It's been incredibly emotional and I have cried many times today. Oh, shut up. Star Wars saved my life. Anyway, the next kick to the Star Wars Corp starts in a month. Let's get excited. Let's get together and have some fun. Like, like uh, Kathy gets a lot of shit online. Yeah. yeah. But, but, but I know that she was the one who made this show. Oh, 100%. Just Yo, let me know what y'all think about Star Wars. They keep this because messy stuff up. Why? Can't stand it. Only thing they got going good right now is X97. And please don't change anything to make it more cringy like the rest of these shows. Golly. Hey, shout out to Robohead. Um, it's a cool video, man. I like your videos. Go check his page out. Tell him not trap sent you. Yeah, I know. I'm just a little guy, but whatever. Show love. Subscribe. Like.